Welcome back to the second segment of today's text time uh, show. In this episode, we're talking about home office deduction matter. And Mr. AJ Kumar is giving out a lot of information. But before we go any further, viewers, I just want to let you know and remind you that should you have any question regarding this topic or any other, please do send us an email, texttime at tvhiusa.com. That's the email ID. And Mr. AJ Kumar will personally reach out to you for any question that you may have. All right, Ajay Ji, break se pehle apne bola tha, exception. Absolutely. That's the word I remember. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so there are two segments, self-employed, meaning the small business owner, S-Corp, LLC, proprietorship, partnership, those people are definitely allowed to claim the home office expense. And we'll tell you how much, we'll tell you how to claim it. W-2 employees are typically not allowed to claim. The exception is if you are a statutory employee, if you are a contingent based employee, for example, insurance agent, realtor, financial advisor, these people, even though they have a W-2, but their W-2 says statutory employee, these employees are still allowed to claim home office expenses. So let's take a step back, two segments, employees, W-2 employees working for somebody else, typically not allowed unless you are a statutory employee. Self-employed, small businesses, LLC, S-Core, proprietorship, partnership, they're all allowed. Let's look into it, how much can you claim? So, IRS allows a simplified method. Mm. Under the simplified method, you are allowed to claim $5 per square feet of your home area, uh, up to 300 square feet. A maximum of $1,500 is allowed as long as you have 300 or more square footage as your home office. Please understand your home office must be used exclusively and regularly. You can't really say, I work over there on the weekend or in the evening, it has to be exclusive, it has to be regular, it has to be separately identifiable place. You can't really say sometimes I work from the bedroom, sometimes I work from the kitchen, that's not allowed. You have to have a separate section that I can see, separately identifiable place for the business. You have to advertise it, you have to have a principal place of business, meaning a third person knows and expect that this is your principal place, that doesn't have to be your headquarter. That doesn't have to be your only place of business. That doesn't have to be your main place of business. But it has to be known that this is where you work from. Say, for example, a lot of small businesses under COVID-19 situation, we used to have an office park and they have moved to their home. And it's general public information that I'm working from home now. So this is allowed. You can have a separate room, separate section in your home, and you can measure how much square footage area you are using over there, and that becomes your home office expense. Mm. That's the standard de deduction, simplified okay. deduction we call okay. it. Or as an alternative to simplified, you can use an actual deduction. Actual deduction, deduction is typically much higher. So the, the way the actual deduction works, if you're, let's say for example, your ho home is 3,000 square feet, and you measure the home office area, and that turns out to be 300 square feet. So 10% of your home is being used for home office. Mm -hmm. So 10% can be used for your expense deduction. For mm -hmm. example, electricity, water, mortgage interest, not the principal, mortgage interest, insurance, even depreciation. But with depreciation, you have to be careful. See, if it's your primary home, when you sell your home, there is a capital gain tax exclusion that you have on the primary home. Mm -hmm. As long as you have been living in the primary home for two years out of last five years, up to half a million of capital gain is not taxable for a married filing joint tax return. $250,000 per person. So half a million, no tax. You bought 200000 700000 no tax. As long as it's your primary home and you have been living there for certain number Got of years, two yeah. years in yeah. last five years. Mm. But the key is if you are using depreciation, 10% in our example, you're using it as a deduction then 10% of the capital gain is taxable to you. Jitna bhi capital gain hua, half a million in our example, 10% of this capital gain becomes taxable to you, 50,000 becomes taxable. So please, uh, refrain yourself. Don't use the depreciation as an expense deduction. If you have a home and if you intend to move out or you intend to sell it eventually, otherwise you will lose the capital gain tax exclusion. Good point, very good point, yes. Good point you mentioned. What if somebody is renting a home and working from that home or having a little Great office? Great question. Hmm. If you're renting a home, you see how much is the square footage in the rental apartment, rental house. Let's say it's 2,000. Your home office, your, your rental apartment, you have an office and let's say it's 400 square feet. Hmm. 
तो 20 परसेंट इज द होम ऑफिस एरिया 20 परसेंट इज द होम ऑफिस एरिया सो द रेंट यू पे 20 परसेंट इज टैक्स डिडक्टेबल ना यूटिलिटी इंश्योरेंस यू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस फॉर द रेंटल अपार्टमेंट एनीथिंग यू जस्ट टेक द रेशो 20 परसेंट इन अवर एग्जाम्पल एंड दैट बिकम्स टैक्स डिडक्टेबल फॉर यू इफ यू थिंक इट्स टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड लेट से यू आर कमिंग अप विद नंबर सेवनटीन हंड्रेड डॉलर्स आफ्टर डूइंग ओल दिस कैलकुलेशन दैन डोंट यूज द एक्चुअल मैथड you use the simplified method now hmm. because in simplified method as long as you can show that home office area is 300 square feet or more you don't need to show any receipt okay. there is no obligation for you to maintain any receipt hmm. if you use the simplified method okay. the best part is you are allowed to choose methods differently every year one year you can use simplified method the next year you can use actual method and you can flip flop you can keep changing it depending on the way it suits you so you calculate the actual if it turns out to be way higher than 1500 use the actual hmm. if it turns out to be close to 1500 or less than 1500 then you use the yes. standard method Correct. simplified method okay what is the ratio of um, of uh, home office deduction tax return gets audited it's not common there are lot of other tax triggers we call it tax red flag mm. unless you are trying to use actual method and then you claim the capital gain exclusion meaning if you use the actual method and you claimed any depreciation expense then is electronically recorded in the IRS system mm-hmm. then you cannot claim 100% capital gain tax exclusion unless you mismatch something unless you disconnect something so home office deduction is not the biggest area for the tax red alert it okay. used to be up right. until 2017 yes. when we had home office expenses on schedule a mm. a lot of w2 employees were claiming going to new york city mm. or travel expense immigration fees going to india a lot of expenses were claimed on schedule a related to home office expenses earlier up until 2017 that's when it was hot red flag for the irs audit now it's not that bad okay but now you know especially for this year because of covid-19 and millions of people uh, have worked from home or still working from home do you think they're going to uh, be a little bit lenient in uh, as far as this matter concerns on their tax uh, returns uh, absolutely but tax law when it comes to the law yes it's black and white hmm. it's not about lenient correct either it's right or it's not it's right wrong, yes. it's not a gray area when it comes to the tax laws w2 employees if you are not a statutory employee it doesn't matter if you are working from home for the whole year you are not allowed what you are not allowed hmm. it doesn't matter if you had to buy a laptop buy a desk you are just not allowed hmm. to claim it hmm. if you are a self employed you have a separately identifiable space that you used exclusively regularly as a principal place of business you are allowed certain expenses if you have to buy a laptop a table a chair a couch uh, anything that you have uh, for that office you are allowed to claim those expenses okay very well <coughs> all right very well explained in this segment but with that note we're going to take a break and when we come back we got a lot more coming your way so please stay tuned